Hello everyone, welcome back to another ALT tutorial video. I'm Joseph and today I'll be talking about some selection method we use really often in Rhino that you might not know. Other than simply clicking on the object you want to select, by dragging from left to right to create a window rectangle, you can select objects completely enclosed in the selection rectangle. So as you can see, I didn't include the entire object on the left, it wouldn't be selected. But by dragging from right to left, you will see your windows become dotted. And instead of selecting um, whatever's inside, this crossing rectangle will select all objects inside or partially inside um, of the selection rectangle. And that's why the, the object on the left is now selected. So um, for example, even if my selection window is not fully covering the object on the left, it will still select. Other than dragging windows, if you miss some objects you want to select, instead of reselecting everything again, by simply holding shift and left click or drag another window on the object will also add the object to the selection. Or if you want to remove the object of selection, hold control on your keyboard and click to remove. Um, and finally, if you hold control and shift together, you can select the sub part of an object. So um, for example, this object over here, I want to select this edge curve on this object. Just hold control shift and left click. Then you can edit only uh, this selected curve and not the entire object. And this method will also work with surfaces. So you can select this top surface, then I can drag with the gumball tool and um, that's it for this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to the ALD YouTube channel. Follow our Discord and Instagram page to check out more tutorial videos, upcoming office hours, and event announcements. Thanks so much. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our Gumroad in the description for free 3D and 2D assets.